have just been honored by your peers. You've just been honored by fellow casting directors. What does that mean to you? How does that feel? It's a very good feeling. Um, I've been doing this a long time, and uh, I've gotten to know a lot of other people who've been doing it a while, and I feel like it's a, a nice community and that uh, they're friends. And so it's nice to be supported and received warmly by, by your peers and your friends. Um, now, is this the first time you have worked together? Yeah. The two, it is? Yeah. Oh, okay. How, <laughs> how did that happen? How did you guys come together? <laughs> you didn't know I felt that way about you, did you? No, I Sorry, cut. <laughs> <laughs> with your own, you never stop in the middle of an audition. You know that, right? You just got to keep yeah, going. Yeah, got to keep going. Exactly. Uh, with your own very successful careers, how did the collaboration happen? How did you come to work together? Um, I got a call from Adam, our producer, and then did you call me? I did call you. I I uh, come out to start the casting, and I had been out here for couple of months longer than uh, initially anticipated and you know I ba am mostly based in New York and I'm like oh, I might need some help <laughs> uh, you know and it was going on longer than anticipated and so I'm like let's get Vicki Thomas I'm like I'd love to work with Vicki Thomas I've admired her for so long would she even consider you know helping and doing this and then she did <laughs> thank god and then it was a amazing amazing from the get-go i thought an amazing collaboration instantly i thought is the process much different working in collaboration than on your own both i suppose good and or bad uh what's that process like i po i completely oh, love it because i'm just like i'm missing somebody what am i doing you know vicky Look at I here. Here are these names, and here's this list. Go over it. Who are we missing? Who am I missing? And like, well, you know, you you've seen a lot of these people. Whatever. <laughs> what about that Marcus Calendar? I saw <laughs> him in a play. He doesn't have an agent. <laughs> exactly. Da 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 da. Yeah. And then you get to you know fill in for each other. Yeah, you right? fill in the the blanks, fill in spaces for each other. I think as long as you kind of get past maybe the, the sheer logistics of who's gonna maybe talk to who or which yeah. agent or whatever, some, something like that. I think basically it's really. I like collaborating. I, I don't like working alone. Alone in it. I like bouncing ideas off of people and sounding things out. That's how I prefer to, to work. But you have to work with a good person. Like it has to be a good artistic match. Yeah. You can't be, you know, not on the same page um, style-wise too. Yes, I, I think. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I agree. Being on the same page with a collaborator, but I imagine with your directors, producers as well, is very important. Um, what does it take to get on the same page? What does what do you as a casting director bring to a production? You know, uh, as far as, as storytelling, what do you think the casting director's role is now? I know it's it's sort of changed, evolved, and grown over the years. How do you see casting really contributing to a project these days? Well, I think it's kind of uh, I mean, it's the people who are up there on the screen who are saying the words that the writer writes and uh, taking directions from a director and I don't know I think uh, they're the window into the movie into what you want us to feel or what situation you want to explore or what topic you want to talk about and uh, I think we're very important in affecting um, the right face to to do that and the right actor and actress to to communicate with you know the, the writer and director uh, want to communicate and hopefully to pick the best person to to do that hopefully so. what she said <laughs> <laughs> uh, every every project I know has its uh, own you know challenges and opportunities we talked about theater before now film very different thing is there something about this project that you will carry with you going forward something about this project that's particularly memorable the one thing that really sticks with you about this film and casting this film? Well, it's a special story. You know, it's an important story, and it's based on real people who are still alive, most of them, with us. And you had to honor that, and you had to find the right people who could convey that, and then not just how they look, you know? And um, it was very important to get it right, because if you messed it up, you messed up their lives, their yeah. story which is powerful and important, and they lived it. And so you have to honor it and respect it. So don't so mess it up. Yeah, I mean <laughs> don't mess it up because, I mean, the fans will, you know, 
call bullshit on that, like, in a second. You know, if they don't feel like the person you picked up there is, is Dre or that person is is easy. Like is easy or Cube, I mean, you know, those fans especially will smell call bullshit. It. Smell it right out. So we, it, it was kind of, it was a big, it was kind of a, hev- not a burden, but it was kind of a, I mean, I took it very seriously. Um, we had to. Yeah. And every time I come now from the airport from LAX, you know, you have to go past Compton and Bald- Baldwin Hills, and I'm just like, that's changed my life because I spent a lot of time in Baldwin Hills and a lot of time in Compton and that was an incredible thing to have been in the middle of the story and then I'm just like you know I gotta drive out there I'm like I've got to see what I'm talking about and you know it is so far from down it is so far from Hollywood without a car without infrastructure without a train without a subway just that in and of itself, I'm like, wow. You talked about how it was important that you took this seriously because of that, because of your real lives. Does your process differ? How does your process differ if you are casting real people versus fictional characters? Got to find them. <laughs> you have to find them. Um, uh, huge, huge, huge open calls. Huge open calls. And I mentioned, you know, that I did uh, do one very large open call in comps, and we had 1,100 people show up. Bloods and grips, uh, you know, on the same line, you know. I mean, that's crazy. You know, with no violence, with nothing. And everybody was seen and everybody we auditioned. And then later on, we'd go back to the files and that you're like, okay, that movie had so many people in it. And so many people came from so many grassroots casting. You know. Uh, Tony, I asked you this before, but Vicki, I wanted to ask, um, you know, uh, now that uh, I said as as an award-winning casting director. uh, It's my first. Is it really? Yay! <laughs> I'm so it's glad I got to be here with that. That's awesome. Yeah, well deserved. Awesome. Thank you. Well, then now as <laughs> as a award winning cast director, you what? Can't it, talk to me now. But now I know. I'm sorry. I I'm gonna have I'm gonna have some I'm gonna get some people and they'll ask you the question <laughs> for me. I, I gotta find some people. Um, <laughs> my people would ask you, uh, <laughs> what advice would you have for young casting directors coming up, assistants and associates who are looking to build their career? who want to be award-winning CSA casting directors, what advice would you give them? Um, Study, um, know your history, know the history of movies, know the history of theater, know what the actor's studio was. Um, Study good directors, see what good casting directors have done. Just know the history of film, television, uh, theater as much as you can and um, no actors. Go see those things. Go to theater. Go to, t- yeah. you know, just really. Knowing your history always strikes me because it seems that the role of casting seems to be changing uh, with the production. I think maybe becoming more essential. At least that's my take on it. Um, and it's nice to see it going that way. I mean, is that, uh, that's kind of my opinion. But do you see that? Do you see the role of casting kind of growing and changing well in today's productions? In terms of getting movies made, I mean, you kind of have, I mean, casting is kind of key right now to in a way that it wasn't before, whether it's about the foreign box office or it's about, you know, s- you know, getting that demographic or whatever. It just, it just seems to be more instrumental in the movie actually getting made these days. Who is is in it? Um, and I don't know if there is that much pressure on movies like in the 70s no, I don't to, so. you know, well you got to have this, this, and this to satisfy the foreign distributors or. You know, th- all that has become, I think, a, a recent, uh, I guess, in the last 10, 20 years, phenomena in terms of, of casting. So it kind of takes a little bit of, at times it can take a little bit of the creativity out of it because you're kind of, a, it's like kind of a Chinese menu mm. thing. And, uh, but that's kind of the reality of some casting that you have to do today. 